Hi, this is Jaya. Now we shall see the summary of Old Man River written by Dorothy Deming. Now this Old Man River is a one act play and it tells about the crisis which a few children they faced and how they overcame it by being united and helping each other. So the main theme of the story is we have to help each other to face any crisis we face in our life. Now we'll go to the play. Now Amy Marshall and Betty Marshall are sisters and they have a young brother also. His name is Dick. And Amy Marshall is the eldest daughter. She is 17 years old. And their neighbors are Rosefield and Sarah Field. And the elder sister is Rosefield. She is 16 years old. And Sarah Field is 9 years older. Now when the play starts, we find uh, in the house of Amy Marshall, Amy, Betty and Rose, they are there. And they are spending their time in reading and knitting and all that. And they are inside. And it is raining very heavily. And from their talk, we understand that for the past 3 days, it has been raining continuously. And they are worried because people are saying that there may be a flood. And if there is flood means they don't know what to do also. And uh, they say that the that is there is a dam near the place. And they say that uh, the dam's level has crossed the warning line. At that time, Jim Hall, he is a 17 year old boy. You must understand that Amy Marshall and Jim Hall uh, are in the same age group. He comes and tells them that uh, there is a bridge near their house that is called as Thompson Bridge. That is gone under the water and there is flood. Now all of them are scared. They don't know what to do and Amy tells Jim Hall that both that is her father and her mother they have gone out. And uh, her mo mother has taken Dick uh, to a dentist because he had some problem. And her father is in Chicago. So they are only alone. They, these three children are there. At that time Amy's mother she calls over the phone. And she says that she cannot come back. Because now the bridge has gone under the water. So they cannot find the way back to their house. But she gives them the directions what to do. And Jimmy and Amy take it down. And now they all start preparing. Now Betty she takes all the flashlight, candles, lamps and lanterns. And keeps it on top. And Rosie fills up fresh water in bowls, tubs, pails and pitchers. And they also make ready the first aid kid. And they also store food, water and blank, uh, blanklets. And at that time, Jim says the situation they are facing. Because there is a near, uh, river near their place which is called as Old Man River. And uh, that is now overflowing. And then they go and find out that their house is fully surrounded by water. The river has overflowed and it is flowing to all the places. Now their house is in the center and it is surrounded only by water. Now Jim tries to make them all cool. He tries to cheer them up and be steady because at that time they have to be more courageous than scared. So what happens is he says okay we will climb on top of the roof if the water enters into the house. And... Um, what happens is uh, the sis Sarah, the sister of Rose, she is found in the playhouse porch. So Jim Hall goes to the porch and he slowly brings her inside. And when they try to contact their parents again, they find that the telephone lines are dead. And then the electric power also gets cut. Since there is no light, they are all scared. But what happens is they start using their presence of mind. Jim first climbs to the roof. And he waves a flashlight. Why he is doing it is he says that th this flashlight will show the people who are coming to rescue them. Like if there is anyone caught they will know that there are people here and they will come and save them. And he is just hoping that someone will see that signal and come and save them. Now water starts entering into the kitchen floor. So they start moving to the attic. And along with them they take the water, food, blankets, whatever they kept ready everything. And uh, Mr. Peters and uh, Miss Marsh, they are the rescue team who come from Red Cross organization. They start looking around and uh, Sarah, she also, she is the little girl. So she climbs up the ladder to the attic 
but she falls and she injures her right leg up. so mr peters and miss marsh they nurse her and they help her to get into a boat and betty marshall and rose field they accompany them as mr peter request uh, jim and amy to stay they are elder and then he sends he says i'll send another boat and rescue you so they first send all the small children away and afterwards another boat comes and they rescue jim and amy and uh, both jim and amy thank the red cross cream for helping them and uh, it's a very nice story where they show that small children they act in a very intelligent way and they help themselves and the presence of mind which jim had to show that flashlight helps the red cross team to come and save them and they save the young children first and then they go this shows the maturity which all of us have to learn in life it's a very beautiful play i hope you like this video share it with your friends And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.